Hello guys, so how's it going? What about the quarantine? So today we are going to talk about information questions using the WH expression what? But first of all, it's important to practice some vocabulary. The vocabulary that we are going to take into account is about numbers. So I'm going to say the numbers and you are going to repeat. So let's repeat after me. Zero, como el sonido de una abeja, acuérdate de la Z. Zero, one, two, three, no es tri, porque tri es árbol. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20 or 20. Puedes decir 20 o puedes decir 20. Acuérdate de la pronunciación. 3, 13. Ok, now we are going to continue. So, having clear the numbers, we are going to continue talking about information, information questions using what so now i would like to remind you that what well that what is a wh expression to talk about general information like k in spanish that is k after that so we have to use the verb be, the verb was that we are working during this lesson. So, verb be that we are going to work is or are. What is or what are? It's possible to do contractions, to contract. Apostrophe S, but here, apostrophe R, is not possible that is a mistake so what is or what's what are after that we have to use possessives remember my your her his it's our their the possessives that we work classes before after the positives we need the required information and the question mark that is the general structure of a Danish question with the verb now let's create some examples using numbers the first example that i would like to create for example what's what's your phone number When I talk about what's your phone number, so we are talking about numbers. Let's suppose that your phone number is 317-330564. Let's suppose that that is your phone number. In Spanish, you say like 317. Eso es lo que dices en español. But in English, it's not like that. You have to say one by one, number by number. Three, one, seven, three, three, zero, five, six, four. One by one. In the case that here, 
you have repeated numbers, you could say 317330564. In the case of zero, you could say O. Oh. In that case, 317330564. That's okay when you are talking about four numbers. Another possible question. Another possible question. So, the most common that you usually use. What's your full name? When you talk about full name, so I am uh, Andrea Gutierrez, first name and last name, when you are talking about full name. But you could also ask, what's your first name? Remember, the example that I used was Andrea Gutierrez. So what's your first name? Andrea. Andrea is regarding to the first name. And what's your last name? Gutierrez. Okay? Full name, Andrea Gutierrez. First name, Andrea. Last name, Gutierrez. Okay, so we talk about for a full name, first name, last name, phone number. Now, something super important. So, What's your email address? When we talk about email address, here I have some extra vocabulary that we I, I want to take into account. There is the vocabulary that you have to take into account when you are talking about email address at underscore that hyphen asterisk hash forward slash backslash a parenthesis uppercase or lowercase that's the vocabulary that's the vocabulary that you need when you want to talk about email address vocabulary or internet vocabulary okay in that case, if your question is, what's your email address? Or remember, it's possible to change the positive. What's her email address? Your, their, we're, uh, our, sorry, your. What's her email address? You could say, my email address is um, in my case, Lore Lupe at gmail.com. But that's not my email address, that's not true. But you could say lorelupe at gmail.com. If you are using numbers, I could say lorelupe zero at gmail.com. Or also it's possible to spell it L O R E L U P E zero at gmail.com according to your needs. So, that is about what's your email address. Another common question. What's your address? Look at the difference. When you are talking about email address, you are talking about internet vocabulary. But in this case, what's your address? It's talking about the place where you live your home address. Okay, if you are talking about United States, you can see that they all just named the main avenue and the number, but we are here in Colombia and the situation is totally different. Si estamos en Colombia, usamos las indicaciones colombianas. No tenemos que irnos al formato americano. In that case, so I am gonna, I'm gonna give you some vocabulary important to use. In that case, you could use 
this word, carrera. But look at this, it's not carrera like in Spanish, carrera. Avenue, avenida. Street, calle. Mm. Transversal. You could, use the, you could use the word transversal. South, north, number, I'm sorry, number, okay? So, let's imagine, I'm going to say an address, a normal address. Let's imagine that is, uh, in Spanish, that is like this. Let's imagine that that is the address in Spanish. So you say, street, fifth, number 47, all five, so. Más adelante les enseñaré cuál es el uso de estas, de, es, de esas dos letricas. Pero las vamos a usar para las direcciones, street, Fifth, number 47, 05, 05, so. That is about um, address. So we talk about what's your phone number, what's your email address, what's your address. So I think that that's all. So in that case, you can practice about what's your mother's day. It's another example. My mother's name is Maria. Okay? So. Uh, well, so I hope you go well that this um, uh, sickness is, is getting us good and we are healthy and happy at home. So bye-bye. See you in another opportunity.